Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today we were sent to this village to investigate a very unusual footstep that has appeared and sadly loads of villagers were hurt in the process. We literally have villagers scattered everywhere as well as loads of skeletons but to be able to get a better look let's go and head up on top of this house and hopefully we can see what type of monster it is. I have a feeling whatever created it it's absolutely huge. But we do have a villager right around here that wants to speak to us. So let's go and see what he wants and hopefully we can fix everything. Hello Naveed, it's awful. A giant monster was spawned right here. But instantly vanished leaving this huge footstep in the center of our village. It has squished many of our villagers. We need whatever despawned destroyed. Wait, you want us to go ahead and fight this monster? That's going to be really dangerous. But I do want to go ahead and help them out because if not, more villagers will sadly go ahead and die. But guys, before we do anything else, I do want to give a shout out to Ryan as well as Rajesh for being members of this channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, the old villager has just reminded me the majority of you aren't subscribed yet. So head down below and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. But I think it's time to go ahead and check out what he wants us to do. Because he's given us a few iron tools as well as loads of weapons. Which I think should be used to go ahead and fight off these evil monsters. Well, let's keep on digging around and let's go and see if we can find some clues. I think all we've got to do is dig around and we should be able to find whatever it is. I I think we must be super close right now so keep on looking whatever it is it has to be around here somewhere but I have a feeling we can literally dig for ages and we might not be able to find anything but I'm pretty sure it has to be right here in the center so let's keep on wandering around and hopefully we should be able to find it give me a second guys I'm just gonna keep on looking and once we find a clue I'll go ahead and let you know wait I think I found something so I was just digging around and I found a chest that I'm not really sure where it's come from. And right inside, we have spawners. Okay, I'm going to take out every single one. We've got a Cyclops, Baracko the Sun Chief, Hydra, an Alpha Yeti, and a Twilight Lich. Let's get out of here and let's go and see if we can go ahead and give them to the villager. But I think it's not going to end there. The villager's probably going to want us to go ahead and spawn it and pretty much fight it off. This is going to be insane. Well, to be able to do this, I'm guessing we'll have to cover up this hole and we can fight the monsters right in the center. And then we can measure out which monster belongs to this crazy footstep. And perfect. Well, guys, are you ready? Let me go ahead and take out all these spawners and let's get fighting these evil monsters. I'm going to start with the Alpha Yeti, which I think is going to be an easy one. Let me spawn it right here. And perfect! Whoa! There it is! Okay, I don't think it's that monster, but it definitely has to get destroyed. So let me go ahead and use my fire sword to take in a few attacks. Ah! Watch out! He's gone ahead and spawned all the evil dead villagers. Okay, this can't be good. Let's go fight him off. And I think we should be able to do this with only a few attacks. But him attacking all of these villagers is definitely really scary. Whoa! I kind of need some better weapons, because if not, this is going to be ever so challenging. Maybe we can use our ice crystal to go ahead and destroy it. And look, he's revived all the villagers. Let's go freeze him. And perfect. And now we should be able to go ahead and take in a few attacks. Yes, I think it's working. <laughs> look how mad he's getting. Maybe next time the villager can go ahead and give us some better armors because as of right now, he is really hard to destroy. Oh, quickly, he's sitting down. Now's our perfect chance to go ahead and do this. Good, let's keep going and let's go and try and use it. Perfect, I think we've almost done it. At any moment, we should be able to get it destroyed. And I'm a little bit worried that all of these dead villagers are slowly by slowly coming back to life, which is not good for us whatsoever. Let's go and use our fire sword one more time because I think this one works best. Having to go ahead and use fire against an ice monster is definitely the best option we have. Well, I think it's working right now. So let's go and try and do this as quick as we can. And hopefully she should work. Perfect. Keep going. And awesome. Wow. We must be so close right now. Here we go. I think it's literally just one more hit and we should have it done. Even though we've died so many times, I think this has turned out to be one of the best battles we've done in quite a while. Let's go in and destroy this monster, and we should be set. Here we go. Perfect. We've done it. Ah, oh, that is awesome. I can't believe we've gone ahead and killed our first monster. And it's made it snow everywhere, which I can't believe. 
Old villager, do you have any sort of armors we can wear? I kind of need them right now. Let's go and see what he has. Oh, so he has a full Yeti outfit. I'm guessing he made it by going ahead and combining a few of the little pieces that the Yeti gave us. And here we go. This should hopefully keep us very protected. And hopefully we should be able to do this as fast as we can. But let me go ahead and now spawn Baraka the Sun Chief right around here that I think we should be able to figure out if it's the one that belongs to his footstep. Let's go and check it out. Whoa! Okay, I'm not entirely sure, but I think he is pretty small for this step. Let me go and use the ice crystal to go ahead and try and freeze it, and hopefully this should work. Let's keep going. Is it going to work? No! His attacks are well too strong. Let me go ahead and use our spear, and hopefully we should be able to at least get in a few attacks. I'm a little bit worried that his minions are quite powerful, which is going to make this very challenging for us. Oh, yes, I think we're freezing him with our outfit. This is great. Maybe we should use our ice crystal to go ahead and help us as much as it can. I'm going to focus on Barako the Shanti rather than focusing on his minions, which I think is a really good option. Whoa! The ultimate attack! Maybe he went ahead and made that first step by using that attack, which I'm a little bit worried about right now. Let me go ahead and try and destroy these minions at least, and hopefully we should be able to do this. Whoa! That is the most ultimate attack I've ever seen. Maybe we could spawn another monster to go ahead and fight against it. But now is our chance. Let's get close. I'm perfect. Whoa! That's mental! But thankfully, he's almost destroyed. I've just got to focus on the last few hits. We've done it! That is great! And hopefully he gives us something we can use. So I think he's only given us his soul visage, which I think is perfect, which I think we should be able to wear and use to fight some crazy monsters. But I probably want to go ahead and keep the whole outfit, but I can go ahead and probably use it to fight off the next monster, which I'm probably going to do the Cyclops. Let me go ahead and do this right here. But first, I need some better weapons. Villager, can I have some better weapons as well? It seems like you have everything that we could ever need. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, perfect! Tech weapons! These are going to be so much better than the items we have right now. Okay, let's swap them out. And hopefully this is the best option we have in going ahead and saving some wonderful villagers. But I am going to keep the ice crystal on us very handy because I think that's one of the most important items we can go ahead and use. So, let me go ahead and spawn the Cyclops and let's go and see what this one looks like. Whoa! He has the ultimate attack! And he loves going ahead and fighting the dead villagers. But let's go and do this. It seems like he wants to go ahead and charge. Maybe he could be the one that's gone ahead and caused this little footstep. But I'm a little bit worried that maybe he's a bit too small as well. Here he goes. Ah, that was so dangerous. Maybe he doesn't like our Yeti outfit. But let me go ahead and use our own little nuclear death ray because he's got one as well. And hopefully this should work. See, he goes ahead and kills the villagers. But for some reason, I don't think we should let that stand. Whoa! He used up a whole weapon of us, which is not good whatsoever. Let me go and use our ice crystal, and let's go and see what happens. Good. Come on, we have to be able to freeze him. Or maybe he's just too strong for it. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just going to use our machine gun, and hopefully this can stop him, which I'm a little bit worried it might not. Oh, we've done it. That is so crazy. Villager, I bring you a wonderful gift, a Cyclops Eye. Hopefully this can be used to go ahead and scare off all the villagers that are going to go ahead and turn evil. But thankfully, I think slowly by slowly, some of the villagers are respawning because I don't see as many sort of skeletons or bodies lying around, which is very unusual. But for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and spawn the Twilight Lich. I'm perfect. And I think all we're going to do is go ahead and throw his own crystals at him. So let's go and do this. Yes. See, I knew it would work. Okay, we've got to be so careful right now. I think his main body is this one right here. So let's go ahead and do this. We've got to stand still. I'm perfect. We're doing it. <laughs> here we go. Let's focus on this one. Yes, we must be so close right now. I think we've only got to do this a couple more times and then we've completely finished him. Ha ha, here we go. I think now we're ready. Let's go ahead and fight him off and this should be a pretty easy fight. Yes, we've done it. And let's go see what he's given us. So he's given us some wonderful golden armor, some enderpearls, and a twilight lich trophy. This should go ahead and impress the villagers, which I'm going to put it right here. Let's go and see. It sounds so scary. Okay, I'm totally ready to do the last one now. Let me go and spawn the Hydra. Whoa! 
Oh, it was definitely the Hydra. So the footsteps belong to the evil monster. Let me go and use the ice crystal and let's go and see if this can freeze it. Is it going to work? No, I don't think it's going to work whatsoever. But now's our chance to go ahead and use our final weapons. <laughs> Perfect. We've destroyed one of his heads already. Let's go for the second one. And perfect! I don't think this Hydra has any chance against these weapons. So let's go and do this as fast as we can. Poor villagers, they're not going to be able to survive whatsoever. <gasps> Wait, have we done it already? If we have, this was the best thing ever. We've gone ahead and killed the monster that caused the first step, which turned out to be the final one, which was Hydra, which has been super crazy for us. Let's go see what it sounds like. Oh, really scary stuff. Well, I think we've done it. We figure out who caused the footstep, and we killed it. And we literally have no more monsters to go ahead and fight. And we've even got a Hydra chop to go ahead and eat later. Well, guys, I think the villagers are super happy with us. And I can't believe we've gone ahead and finished off this challenge in a matter of minutes. So, guys, I wish you another crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below button is red. And don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.